section 5.3 number 5. Here we want to multiply two polynomials and each of them have three terms. The important thing to remember when you're multiplying polynomials is that every single term in the first polynomial should multiply or distribute onto every single term in the second one. So let's go ahead and start doing that. We'll start with the 6t squared and first we're going to do 6t squared times 2t squared. So that's going to give us 12 t and then t squared times t squared is to the fourth power because the same basis you add the exponents. Then we do 6t squared times 6t. So that gives us plus 36 t cubed and then 6t squared times minus 1 is minus 6t squared. We're done with the 6t squared. Now we go to the next one. Minus t times 2t squared. That's going to give us a minus 2t cubed. And I'm going to line it up right underneath the t cubed that already exists because that's going to make it a lot easier to collect my like terms when it's time to do that. You don't have to line them up this way if you don't want to. You can just keep writing along horizontally. I'm going to run out of space on the paper if I do that, so that's another good reason for me to line them up vertically. Okay, so we have minus 2t cubed. Minus t times 6t gives us minus 6t squared. Again, it's lined up under the like term. Then minus t times minus 1 is plus t. We're done with minus t. Now we go to minus 3. Minus 3 times 2t two squared is minus 6t squared, so that would line up under these guys. Minus 3 times 6t is minus 18t, which would line up right here. Minus 3 times minus 1 would be plus 3. And now we're going to collect like terms. We're going to add the pieces together that have like terms. 12t fourth comes down. No like terms. 36 take away 2 is plus 34t cubed. Then we have 3 minus 6 is here, so that's going to be minus 18t squares. Plus 1 minus 18 is minus 17t. Bring down the plus 3, and you have your answer.